great strategies need greater execution for transforming your business for profits and sustainability. Trust me, you're going to love the speaker. Please welcome the MD of Kaizen Institute, Mr. Jayant Methi. A round of applause as he comes. I wanted to, you know, cut all the deck and start with one little illustration or I can let you see this and understand what operational excellence is all about, right? We are sitting in this uh, wonderful uh, building. Digitization is very important, fantastic. But this building is standing because it has a foundation. And people and processes are the foundation of every organization. So what you see here is very simple. There is um, a little funny illustration here of a couple of people pulling and pushing a cart. Looks like they're going towards some destination, right? Yes or no? Yeah, they're going towards, I think, that side where the coffee is being served. Um, just think about it. They have a KPI, they have a vision, they have a strategy, they have a goal. Will they reach there? Well, the answer will be maybe, maybe not. And some people will say, maybe. Um, second question. <clears throat> Are people working hard? I think very, very sincere people working very hard. They're sweating it out. People in the front are CEOs. They're they are pulling. And people behind are pushing, team members. And they're going towards the destination. And obviously, after all the effort, great strategy, you don't reach there. And the question CEOs ask is, what the hell, what's happening? And that's when the answer starts coming. So the most common answer, what do you think is the most common answer? Why are we not progressing? CEOs. The most common answer, I'm sure you'll agree with me, is we don't have enough people to push. Right? So we need resources. We need people, other resources. And they'll say, CEO, give me these resources and this will fly. This will not move. You know, give me, give me these resources. And CEOs are kind. You add resources, will it change? Maybe, maybe not. And the story goes on. And you keep trying everything, you keep adding resources doesn't change, then somebody, the HR man will come and say, you know what, it's not about adding people, we have the people, they don't have the skills, so you do training. Yeah, And somebody, while all this is happening, uh, somebody from di the digital world, IT expert will come and say, excuse me, this is not about resources, the reason why it is not moving is we are not lubricating the wheels, we need a new ERP, we need industry 4.0, let's lubricate the wheels and this will fly. So the point I'm trying to make is everybody looks at it from their perspective. The HR man says training, right? The IT man will say digitization. Maybe some of you love strategy, CEOs love strategy. They'll say, excuse me, it's not about you know, industry 4.0 digitization. The reason why this is not moving is because the road is bad. <laughs> what is the road? Everything external to the organization, right? <clears throat> so you start up with probably the government policy is bad. The war in Ukraine you know, is affecting us. <laughs> and that's what you hear. Yeah? And the, the Honorable Governor talked about so many economic indicators. I, I didn't get half of them. It's, you know, because I, I'm a simple engineer. And, um, and, and you know what? And one more thing that often I'm, I'm cross your heart, you'll say is that, you know what? Who's wrong? The customers are wrong. The customers are becoming very difficult. And if only the customers change, you know, we can't change, you know, because we are, we are a good company and the only <laughs> customers need to change. So my friends, next slide, the point I'm trying to say is very simple. <clears throat> you can have great strategies, you can push, pull, but if your people and processes are broken, God bless you. And I think the foundation, uh, I saw this wonderful presentation by Siddharth Olam, I'm sure digital, but you know, when something is logged in, you interface, you know, we had Hari talking about reaching out, customers can reach out faster. But for response to come from the organization, maybe the customer will place an order, but for the response to happen, you need the foundation in place, right? So we are talking of very fundamental things. So very famous statement, you can have great culture, you can, I mean, you can have great strategies, but unless you have good operating culture, uh, nothing works. And that, that's the point I'm trying to make again and again. A little bit of statistics, 80% or more in fact, and there is enough written about it, of strategies fail because of poor execution. And I, I'm sure all of you agree with that. 
um, operations fail and as they say the rubber when the rubber hits the road that's when all the mess happens you can have great ideas but uh, we see every day the execution is broken so what do we have to do let's move forward the the message if there's one message i want you to take home is don't cut cost please cut waste and i'll tell you there's enough waste in every operations in every aspect of your operation that uh, you don't have to focus on cost you just cut the waste and automatically you know uh, and guess how much waste is there you know you can do uh, something called a value stream analysis to find the waste so uh, most organizations <clears throat> are looking to get better looking to you know become faster and um, of course achieve more right in terms of quantity and quality um, and this is what every organization is aspiring to do and you can't do that unless you really drive a culture of uh, improvement and i just wanted to tell you very quickly what this is all about it's basically not being reactive about improvements but you know, very gradually building a proactive culture and very famous statement from the toyota um, house of toyota which says we don't build cars we build people and i think that's what it is important people plus processes is excellence and and if you have this in place uh, the rest falls in just pause here for a second when we talk of improvements i'm just going to be ending very quickly uh, there are two ways to improve and the first way to improve is one way is to add i just mentioned about it you go to any organization say let's improve they'll say uh, give me more resources right you go to a sales head and say please improve sales say, give me more sales people give me more advertising budget blah 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 you talk of production give me more machines so one way to improve of course is you add more and you improve but exactly on the other side of the spectrum is one more way to improve please uh, move the slide is delete so i want you to remember that the art and science of deletion is operational excellence and ceos have to learn the science of deletion ceos love addition you have a meeting to pass a budget to buy a machine it takes 15 minutes for a ceo to decide hey, let's buy that but if you ask a ceo let's sit down and see how to eliminate waste he'll say you know talk to my boys and girls because ceos love the big picture spending money buying that new toy don't want to get into the details and make things you know efficient and work i think that's also equally important so cut the cut the fat and i'm sure you're looking at me and say look who's talking yeah uh um, and build build the muscles um you know somebody has to be there to show the before situation right <laughs> and many ceos um, you know represent the after so um, again a message is please digitization is very important we ourselves in the kaizen institute a lot use a lot of digitization but you got to cut waste before you digitize if you don't do that what's going to happen is you're just going to institutionalize the waste right and people like siddharth etc will tell you how much of process improvement and cutting waste goes before digitization and many people miss this let's move forward i just want to tell you that as you cut the waste the whole focus is to eliminate all this waste i just wanted to press enter and as you start doing this um, can you move forward slide um as you eliminate all the waste basically you improve flow So what I want to tell you, what I want to tell the CEOs is, it's all about flow. In the human body, we have blood flow. What happens if the blood flow stops? Kaput, you're gone. Just the same way, everything is about flow, and we we call it Gemba Pantheri in Japanese. We keep it flowing. The CEO's principal job is to improve flow within your organization, whether it's a customer flow or a material flow or an order flow. And when you improve the flow, what you get is basically cash flow. how many of you love cash flow here right cash flow is the real blood and it's not even ebita net positive cash flow and you cannot run a business without cash flow and the only way to deal with cash flow is improving a material flow and information flow so remember flow 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 how can you improve flow and all this digitization has improved the flow in olam's case it they've improved the flow of information the way you can you know connect with the farmers so it's all about flow right so focus on flow and you can improve flow in all aspects you can't go to the gym and only exercise your right arm the right arm will become like arnold schwarzenegger what about the rest of the parts right so you need to improve all aspects of your business it can be production it can be procurement supply chain um, all kinds even in project management i met a lady 
Kiran, she was saying, what about construction? Of course, construction. Services, governments. And I'll be, I'm an Indian. Uh, I'm very happy to share with you that Kaizen is being implemented by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and I have the privilege of working in the Prime Minister's office. And several processes are, you know, we are looking at it and revamping them. So there has to, it has to happen in the government, in hospitals, everywhere. You have to drive this lean philosophy. So I'm stopping here. Just want to end by saying, how do you do this? Well, you know, in anything, in your mobile phone, in your computer, laptop, you have two things. You have uh, tools, you know, I'm, I'm using PowerPoint. It's a fantastic tool and it's very important. But many of us forget that for this tool to work, you need an operating system. And unfortunately, you don't see the operating system, do you? You, you can click on PowerPoint, but you can't see the operating system. The operating system is the culture of the organization, and that's people and processes. You can't see processes, you can't see people and their skills, but unless you have an operating system which works silently behind, none of your tools and toys will work. None of your ERPs will work. So all the best, keep investing in tools, but build the operating system. Thank you very much.